and welcome to Signature TV News Highlight for this Tuesday. I am Damilola Abudu. The Urban Nation agitator, Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, has been arrested in Kotonou in the Republic. Several supporters who were close to the embattled agitator on Tuesday confirmed that Igbo was arrested at an airport in Kotonou on Monday night, and his media aide, Olayomi Koiki, fled the country. One of them said Igbo had a Benin Republic passport and was on his way to Germany before he was arrested. An effort to reach Igbo's media aide, Koiki, proved abortive. The police in Borno State have announced the restriction of vehicular movement in Maiduguri as part of measures to ensure security during the Eid prayer, marking the Salah celebration. A statement signed by the spokesperson of the command, SP Edet Okun, said the measure was among others taken to ensure the safety of the people. He said the bags and sharp objects would not be allowed into prayer grounds and urged parents and guardians to monitor their words to avoid incidents of missing children. While calling for maximum cooperation, the statement advised the people to be vigilant, report any suspicious persons, activities or objects to the police and other security agencies. Over 70 women abducted by bandits in Malile communities and fire estate on June 7th have been released. The reason for the release of the victims is still unknown as local residents confirmed that the women were released by the bandits. The police public relations officer of the state, Mohamed Sheo, confirmed the release, adding that the victims are on their way to the state capital and the command will give more details to journalists on the development. The Nigerian Air Force has stated that one of its pilots survived an air crash after an attack by bandits on the boundaries of Zamfara and Kaduna states. In a statement signed on Monday by Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Commando Edward Blackwood, the pilot, identified as Flight Lieutenant Abayomidairo, survived after he successfully ejected from the aircraft. It added that the pilot was able to elude several bandit strongholds by using the cover of darkness, and his phone set for navigation and maneuvered his way to a a Nigerian army unit where he was finally rescued. Two courts in Anabra on Monday ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to list the names of Professor Chukuma Soludo and Senator Ugo Chiku Uba as the candidates of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, and People's Democratic Party, PDP, respectively, for the November 6, 2021 governorship election. In Professor Soludo's case, the High Court, presided over by Justice C.C. Oka, directed INEC to publish the former CBN governor's name, which was removed from the electoral umpire's list last Friday, and replaced with that of Chukuma. Kuma Umeoji. Similarly, in Senator Oba's case, a high court in Oka presided over by Justice Obiora Mwabunike did not only order him to list the lawmaker's name as a rightful candidate, but also awarded 10 million naira damages against the defendants, namely the PDP and Mr. Val Ozigbo, the other candidate of the party produced at the party supervised by the leadership of the party. Safety and security begins with you, the patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. As a Signature TV news highlight, for details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please, do join us later in the evening for Signature TV news updates. On behalf of my producer, Haneda Eze, thanks for watching. I'm Damilola Abudu.